Now, as part of a presentation from Moroccan agri-tech firm Soit at the Africa Financial Summit, in Casablanca was declared that Africa is a massive economic opportunity for the next 25 years, with the projected 20% of the year's population by 2025, with agriculture being the largest driver of the continent's economy. Let's have a look. Uh, wheat being farmed in Morocco traditionally over 3.5 million hectares and as we are talking, not more than 2 million hectares have been actually farmed. It shows multiple challenges we are currently facing, not only climate change that is really preventing farmers from sowing and from considering there is an opportunity for them to grow a harvest, but also many other bottlenecks that we have all around. Of course, machinery, quality seats and inputs, expertise, information, and of course, last but not least, financing. At Sowit, as the co-founder and co-CEO of Sowit, we actually built a solution that helped unlocking the potential of African farmers by de-bottlenecking Afri uh, African farming, using finance as the critical instrument in order to deliver farmers all they need for them to achieve a profitable harvest. The opportunity in Africa is huge. Uh, if we talk, of course, about Morocco alone, uh, for example, for wheat, 3.5 million hectares of wheat representing more than 4 billion of loan value every day in terms of OPEX in order for these farmers to be able to cultivate. But if we talk about the continent, it's a one trillion opportunity, not only because Africa, in terms of growth, will need to feed its 1.3 billion people by 2030, but also because agriculture is the largest driver of the African economy. If you see all the green revolutions that happened in the past, if you see the example of India, there couldn't be an industrialization and an emergence of a country without agriculture being a massive driver, not only in rural areas, but also in providing massive workforce to the urban areas and making the country able to afford for its own uh, production and its own food. As a matter of example, Africa imports 50 billion of food product today, whereas it has a massive potential in terms of production. If you take the cereal farmer in, in, in Morocco, it will produce two tons per hectare. If you take the Indian, it will produce four to five. It means there is massive room for improvement, of course, if we consider comparable sol situations in terms of climate, but also in terms of environment, soil, uh, and so on. Um, the objective uh, and what we try to build with our partners and especially IFC is to be able to combine finance and technology in order to de-bottleneck agriculture. Finance and technology are very important not only because technology enables from one hand to de-risk farm financing because you have a, a good credit scoring, you know the farmers, you know the land, you know the surface, you know the historical yield. So you know what is the ability of this farmer to pay back. But along the way, it's much more important as it helps securing the production all across the season. Not only helping in getting the right insurance in terms of coverage, in getting the right inputs in terms of quality for farmers to get adapted inputs to their soil or to their crops, but also in terms of getting advisory and access to market. Finance is definitely the master bottleneck for, for African farmers as it helps unlock in all the others that are then uh, enabling farmers to double their productivity. And that's what we actually did. Last year, our farmers increased their net income by almost 60% while having zero default on all the farmers that took loans in order to finance their season. It's not only money, but it's money that unlocks all the possibilities for farmers to upgrade their crop management and to achieve a better performance. This was achieved through a very comprehensive approach that was built within the triple AP program with the IFC in order to be able not only to secure the de-risking of the farms for all the financial institutions that are partners, but also for all the other stakeholders within the value chain. Suppliers wants to be paid at the end of decisions. Off-takers wants to be delivered. But also to make this de-risking approach a way to secure money with low collateral as it is their risk on a daily basis for farmers to get access to financing and to perform better at the end of the day being able to pay everyone back and to make everyone happy across the value chain, creating values all across the different component from the farmers to the suppliers to the off-takers, machinery and service producers that are then um, uh, um, in, in, enabled to seize an opportunity that is de-risks and providing them with much more. Thank <laughs> you.